When people are connecting with you on LinkedIn, where's the first place they'll go? Yep, you guessed it, your profile. They want to learn more about you, what you do, and how to connect with you. But if you haven't invested much time or energy into making your profile stand out, did you miss out on an opportunity to connect? In this video, I'm sharing some simple tips on maximizing your profile, the prime real estate you have on LinkedIn. Make sure to stay to the end of this video where I share two things that people are also missing that can help really boost their business. The first thing people notice on your LinkedIn profile is this right here, your header but it's also a space many people don't use. If you look at some profiles, it's usually just the default of the different watercolors and that's it. But you can easily create your graphic in a tool like Canva for this to stand out. The image size, 1584 pixels by 396 pixels. Since your cover is the first thing people will see aside from your profile picture, make sure your graphic isn't just a pretty picture of clouds or waterfalls, but it actually gives your audience an idea of who you are and what you do with a strong call to action. What I would suggest including on in your cover is some text, a photo that grabs your attention, and a call to action like your email, your phone number, or even your website. Next, your profile photo. Upload a clear photo of you smiling. Not one where you're in your car, with your seatbelt, wearing some shades, or no photo at all. People wanna see who it is they're reaching out to and connecting with. And make sure you zoom in on you. Don't want or need a lot going on behind you, around you in that little circle. Here's a bonus tip. LinkedIn has a great feature where you can add audio next to your profile name. Here, you can record a short 10 second message to greet your viewers over just saying your name. So make the most use out of it. Hi, Tisha Marie Pelletier, and I'm here to help you start your business and up level your brand to start standing out. I would suggest saying something like this. Hi, I'm Tisha, thanks for connecting with me. I help solopreneurs build a strong standout personal brand in 90 days. When it comes to your headline, there's several rules of thought depending on who you ask. Some will say, lead with your title, like CEO or entrepreneur, but I say lead with what you want people to take away, who you are, when they meet you, and how you serve them. For instance, if you head to my LinkedIn profile, you'll see my headline says, authentic with a touch of badass. It's the first thing you see and it's in bold. It's memorable and people always send me direct messages and comments pointing this out because who doesn't want to meet this girl? Then I lead with how I help solopreneurs build a strong standout personal brand, followed by the other roles that I have for SEO. Ask yourself, what do you want people to know about when they LinkedIn meet you? guide them through creating an effective headline. Another great feature of LinkedIn is creator mode. It allows you to add hashtags that you talk about most often here on LinkedIn. You can also record a short video for your profile too. Another way your audience can learn more about you just from visiting your profile. As you scroll down in your profile, the featured section allows you to add your website and pieces of content from your posts you want to save and share with your audience. It showcases the first five pieces. However, you can always add more, especially if there are posts that you want to save and share and refer back to. Finally, your profile has the about section. Here you can dive in more about how you serve your clients, your ideal clients, and what you do versus just copying and pasting your bio, giving it a little bit more flavor. Adding what you help your clients with, who your clients are, some testimonials, and how your connections can reach you are items that I would add into this section. The other great thing is that you can move any of these sections around. Also make sure your About Us section is written in first person, not third, and highlights the areas in bold you want people to view and has a strong call to action on how they should reach you. On a personal note, some favorite sites I use for creating my profile and my posts include LinkedIn Text Format and the emoji keyboard. I mentioned in the beginning that I had the most overlooked aspect of your profile that people often overlook. You ready for it? It's recommendations and endorsements. People want to endorse you for the things that you do extremely well. They also want to give you some glowing recommendations, which also helps your ideal clients, your future prospects, see that and want to work with you even more. 
Now that your profile is ready for you to make valuable connections, how can you turn those connections into leads? Watch this video here, where I will show you how to get leads for your business with LinkedIn. And watch this video here, because YouTube thinks you're really going to like it. Till next time, see you later.